All right guys, another guy coming at you on Mac OS this time. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to enable debug mode within DJI Assistant on a Mac. Um, very similar to, to Windows, we gotta go and open a file. Um, but before doing this, go ahead and make sure you've downloaded and installed DJI Assistant 2 from the, uh, the App Store, and then we'll go ahead and get rolling. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Finder. Uh, if you have Assistant open, close it. Uh, go ahead and open up Finder. On the left there, uh, under my favorites, you're going to see applications. Open applications and then go over and find assistant. We're going to do a control click on this so that it'll bring up the menu. Go ahead and click show package contents. Uh, go ahead and open up that app files folder right there and then you'll see a file main.js. You're going to do a control click on this, do open with, and then choose text edit or g edit. Uh, any edit type program will, will work just fine. Okay, so once that's done, uh, go ahead and scroll down. Uh, about halfway down, we're going to find a line of code where it says uh, enable the dev tools. Go ahead and delete the two slash slashes there, uh, or sorry, the slash slash there. You can delete the, uh, the space as well, and that's going to basically do what we need to do. So go ahead and save that file. You can close that file. You can close text edit if you want, close that window, and then go ahead and uh, open up your assistant program. Uh, you'll see here through uh, Launchpad, I can go ahead and open up assistant. And once I open up Assistant on the right side over here, it's going to basically have the, the Dev Console open. So now that we've made that change, the Dev Console is going to open. If you need to, click the resources on the top up there. Uh, otherwise, in order to enable debug, just go ahead and double click in that spot right there next to debug where it says zero. Um, change it to one, hit enter, and you're good to go. From there on out, you can do what you need to to modify your parameters within your aircraft. Thanks, guys.